Hey guys, Riley Spanish here, and I have another uh, pretty good GameStop deal here. These are marked down to $14.98 a piece, um, whether it be in store or online. That's how much they ring up for. But with the current buy three, get one free, they equal out to being less than $12 a piece, basically, if you're getting four at a time. Um, and I did get eight, but in this video, I'm just going to be opening four because I'm out in the work truck. Uh, honestly, just trying to kill a little time. I could wait until I got home to open these, but I thought it would be uh, fun to crack them open here. You do get the promo of Mimikyu EX in each of these and the oversized card. Um, I have mentioned many times that I much prefer the little uh, Mimikyu showcases, which are like uh, 12 bucks at Walmart, but I never see those anymore. You also get a hollow Grievered, which is nothing that special in my opinion. But anyways, you get four packs, so for less than $12 to get four packs is already a great deal. It is three Silver Tempest, or I'm sorry, two Silver Tempest, one Brilliant Stars, and one fusion strike, which is a pretty good pack spread. Uh, definitely a lot of potential between those four packs. There's the code, and I'm gonna try to keep my garbage just a little bit organized as I go, um, because as you can tell, I am doing this in the work truck, but we will start with a fusion strike pack. And try and tilt my camera a little bit, get a better angle. I'll probably just do the four that I'm doing now and then immediately record the other four. I just can't manage holding uh, eight of these boxes all at once right next to me. All right, first pack is a fusion strike. It was just a white code card, which is no big surprise coming from fusion strike. Pangoro reverse and a Gorbis rare non hollow. And then I'll do the one brilliant stars and then the two silver tempest. Brilliant stars is a white code as well, but there's a lot more potential with brilliant stars because there's a trainer gallery. About, I don't know, I'd say like one in every eight packs you get a trainer gallery just like that. This, the gold and black uh, Rapid Strike Urshifu VMAX, and then a Tornadus right behind that. But one pull down from this opening. Hopefully several more to go. On to the two Silver Tempest packs. First one is a uh, good sign there with a black code card. I've opened so much Silver Tempest and I've only ever managed to pull a single alternate art. It was the unknown. Uh, never pulled the Lugia or the um, Skun Tank. Oops, got a little camera failure there. My bad. There we go. These cards were also stuck together. I've been having that a bit lately with Silver Tempest packs. Ariados and Terrakion Hollow is the end, but these cards are all just... Let me set some of them aside and kind of show that. They're not like really stuck together, but they're definitely a little sticky in the pack, which is not something I love to see because if there's any kind of like adhesive material or something that's gotten onto them, um, and, you know, and you get something really nice in the pack. You definitely don't want that happening. Ooh, two for two on black codes. Definitely hoping for something better than just a rare hollow on this second one. And the last card is upside down. All right, let's see if that's a uh, good luck to have an upside down last card in the pack. We've got a reverse Archaeops, and it is a V. It is an upside down Omastar V. So two little pulls from the first box, nothing too crazy, but not bad at all. A good uh, trainer gallery card from Brilliant Stars, and then a V from Silver Tempest. 
definitely hoping to pick up the pace a little bit and get something nice from one of these. Like I said, I do have eight in total, so, um, I mean, statistically, I should get a little something, but only time will tell. Get the packs out of here. And there's the code. Put the plastic back together. Put it back in the box. And get it out of my way. Alright. I'm going to do the same order for packs. Fusion Strike first to bat. That one ripped pretty easy. The Fusion Strikes lately I've, that I've been getting out of collection boxes have all had the code card backwards. Of course, it's a white code, but I've also got quite a few where that uh, white code didn't matter, kind of. And I still got like a hollow or a V. I'm not saying that that's going to happen here, but I have been seeing a lot more error code cards. Reverse Caterpie and a Yveltal. Alright, do the single Brilliant Stars pack this time. Ooh, there we go, a black code from Brilliant Stars. I do really love Brilliant Stars, even though it's uh it's kind of rough on me just because i've never managed to pull any of uh, like the charizard full art the charizard rainbow or the alternate charizard which is what i'm really after but i have pulled some good stuff from it got a reverse cinchino and it is going to be a v star whimsicott v star couldn't even get the the charizard v star but that is okay it is a pull, and I will take it, and on to the two Silver Tempest packs. With a black coat on the first one. Alright. Let's get something better than a hollow. Hey, there's a Rock Rough Trainer Gallery, and it is going to be another V-Star, a Lowland Vulpix V-Star. Good little double banger pack there. Two V-Stars from this second box, though. So I guess there's nothing really weird about that, but I don't pull V-Stars all that often, I guess. There's just a uh, white code this time, but maybe another little Trainer Gallery pull. I still would love to pull the Rayquaza VMAX, not the gold and black one, but the actual full art. Did get a trainer gallery, a Pissimian, and then a Lilligant is the rare. Alright, not too bad so far. A couple pulls from the first two boxes. Nothing really insane, but definitely getting some hits. Got a good uh, thunderstorm going on outside right now. If you watched my, uh, probably what'll be the video previous to this, where I did the Lost Origin build and battle stadiums, the thunderstorm was just starting. I went over to my next job. It ended up being something really small, so now I got a little more time to kill before I can go to my next one. So I thought that I would crack into some of these Mimikyu boxes to kill a little more time. Get the jumbo card out. Get the packs. I would love to get something nice from a fusion strike pack. It's just been so long and that set does get kind of a bad rap, but it's honestly for a good reason. It's just such a tough set. I know some people have had good luck with it, but I am not one of those people. All right, box number three. Starting off with Fusion Strike again. What is it? Hey, it is a black code this time. Alright, definitely have the potential for something here. Let's get something better than a hollow. Like I said, been a while since I've gotten anything really good from Fusion Strike. Alright, reverse hollow Mankey. 
and not even a hollow. It was an error pack, but not in the way you want it to be. Did not get even a rare hollow from it. All right, let's move on to Brilliant Stars then and see if we can get a little redemption. Not gonna happen with the white code, but the other three packs in this box do have a trainer gallery at least. No Radiance in um, Brilliant Stars, though. That didn't start until Astral Radiance. Magmortar. Rare non-holo. And on to the two Silver Tempest packs. But really, if you can justify buying four of these at a time, or eight in my case... Um, it really is worth the price per pack, you know, it's four packs plus the promos for under $12. You really can't beat that. All right, reverse fan pee, and we do have a silver edge. It is a Pokemon, probably just a full art, but if it was an alternate art, that's what it would look like too. What do we got? The Lugia V full art. Not the crazy Lugia that we're after, but still a great pull. Love to see that. And on to the final pack of box number three. Oops. There's the code. And what do we got? Reverse Hollow Krokorok, and it's just going to be a normal V, a Chestnut. I pull that Chestnut all the time. It is a very easy V card to pull. Alright, and on to the fourth and final Silver Tempest, or I'm sorry, uh, Mimikyu EX box of this particular opening. I will have a video coming out probably the day after this. Maybe not. I might space them out and upload something else in between. But either way, I will have four more to show after the fact. There's that. I try to keep the videos posted kind of in order of relevance. So I'll open certain products and maybe not open or not upload the video for a week or two just because um, something will happen where there's a sale and I want to kind of showcase that with my videos so if people are interested in maybe capitalizing on it they can uh, go buy that same thing. On this Fusion Strike Pack the code card was actually facing the correct direction and it's a black code card so I'm hoping this isn't another one of those error packs where I get a black code and nothing out of the pack. But we will see. Got a reverse Victini and a hollow Toxtricity. Not exactly what I'm looking for, but still better than a, uh, a tease with a black code card and no hollow in the, in the pack. Onto the one and only Brilliant Stars pack of the box, and we do have a good code card. All right, see what we can get here. Reverse Magmortar, and that looks like it's gonna be a full art trainer, maybe a rainbow. It is a rainbow, Roseanne's backup. Nice pull there. I just recently pulled the uh, non-rainbow version of that card. It's not worth very much. I thought it would be worth like five to 10 just because the full art female trainers usually are, but that particular one was like maybe two bucks, but I'm sure the rainbow's gotta be worth a little bit more. But you really never know. Like the Serena from Silver Tempest, the normal full art's worth like 40 bucks, and then the rainbow's only worth like, I wanna say 25, 30 or something. So sometimes the rainbow is worth less. Reverse Serena, speaking of her, and an Amoongus. And the fourth and final pack from this box and of the opening. Hoping for a little last pack magic on this one. 
Otherwise, don't think I did too bad overall for 16 packs. Do have a white code, but maybe get a uh, nice little trainer gallery out of the deal. Metang, Fury Sode Girl, Lopunny, Sandy Gast, Relicanth, Halucha, Togedemaru, Petalil, Radiant Serena, there we go, and a Zygarde, but a little pull at the end there to pull it together. And then I will do a quick little summary. Got that Radiant, the Rainbow Roseanne's backup, Chestnut V, Lugia V Full Art, probably the star of the show today, Passimian Trainer Gallery, Rock Ruff Trainer Gallery, Vulpix V Star, Whimsicott V Star, Omastar V, and the uh, secret black and gold Rapid Strike Urshifu V Max from the Brilliant Stars Trainer Gallery. Definitely did pretty all right for 16 packs. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Please consider subscribing.